and dozens of Hoosiers made their way to the state house today for what they called a vigil, a chance to honor the lives lost, but also draw attention to other things people have lost quicker. due to the pandemic. Those One of them lucky. being jobs. WRTV's Megan Sanctorum spoke with a woman who's been active in helping people navigate the unemployment system and shares her message for state leaders. When it comes to unemployment benefits here in Indiana, there are still so many Hoosiers who are struggling and they say they need help. Now they're calling on state leaders to act. It's my obligation at this point to speak for these people. She calls herself the unofficial go-to for unemployment benefit questions in Indiana. And today she represented thousands of Hoosiers who are still having issues with the system. People are still dealing with um, not being able to get clear answers from the call center that was hired. Um, they are dealing with not being able to find the information on the web page. Mary McCloskey is an optician who temporarily lost her job last March due to the pandemic. It was scary. She started a Facebook group for people navigating the unemployment benefit application process to connect. More and more people began to join and now we're at 9,300 people. It's a place for people to turn when they feel like they can't get answers anywhere else. Something Lane Fulton experienced when he applied for unemployment benefits last April. And it was very clear from the very beginning that the Department of Workforce Development did not have the tools they needed to meet this unprecedented time that we had. Issues with his application led to a delay in processing. He had to live off savings and he went months without receiving any benefits. But I spent over about 26 hours collectively on hold with the department. They are angry. They, um, they, feel, they feel like they've not been heard. They feel like they're invisible. So today, they're calling on state leaders to act and find a way to funnel more resources to the department Hoosiers struggling with unemployment rely on. So they need to fund and staff these departments fully and with a contingency plan for more pandemics and other things that will happen in the future. I hope that our state leaders will hear us and you know, help provide more guidance, more, more efficient, more efficient solutions from the call center. Working for you, Megan Sanctorum, WRTV.